Hi there, it's Tammy Orinder and you're in my Taste of Tallulah kitchen. I'm so glad that you're joining me today and today's theme is all about for the love of leftovers. Now I love my leftovers because I love what I make in the beginning so I have no problem eating leftovers but when you get to that point where you've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that not really enough to make a full side dish or an entree the best thing I found to do is to make a frittata this is kind of the cousin to the quiche and I'm not normally a fan of quiche so it's kind of weird that this is one of my favorite things to do but I cleaned out the fridge got some of my tastiest side dishes that um, make up this frittata and I'm I'm going to call it my roasted Brussels sprout and sweet potato frittata. There's some other stuff in there too. Let me show you how I make it. Had some leftover pancetta, warmed it back up, rendered some more of that fat, did add a little bit of butter in there. I've also got some leftover sweet potatoes, which you'll learn about me. I put sweet potatoes in just about everything and also some red peppers few bites left of some roasted Brussels sprouts, a little onion jam with mushrooms, and we're going to put all that in just basically to warm it up. You have to realize that all this has been cooked. It's side dishes from earlier in the week. So just it's the beautiful way to not waste food and make something incredibly delicious. Now you're going to add a little bit of cream to your eggs and also realize everything else has been seasoned because it was my side dish from earlier in the week. The eggs have not been so we do want to add a little salt and a little pepper so good to go there. You actually want to let it crust on the bottom a little bit. I'm taking some leftover cheese. I'm using a little bit of cheddar a little bit of white cheddar as well. I'll bring that over just a little bit. All right, because you want the bottom and the sides start to set up just a little bit in the pan here on the stove before we put it in our 350 degree oven. So let that cook for just a minute right there. No stirring. So we're going to put this in our oven and let it bake for about 20 or 25 minutes. Gonna let it cool off just a little bit, but I think this is going to be perfect. So the only thing that I have added is a little bit of fresh basil right on top because I love that. It goes well with the Italian bacon, the pancetta that's in there. And mm. here's the wonderful thing about a frittata is everything in it I already love or I wouldn't have made it in the first place. So you got to love leftovers when you can utilize them in this way. It is the perfect combination of breakfast, dinner, savory, all my favorite things right here on a plate. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a delicious day.